G'day guys, how are you all? Thanks for coming back to my channel. So, um, excuse me if I look a little bit sweaty. I've just finished a workout and it's stinking hot today. And I'm upstairs too, with the fan blowing. And I'm still hot. <laughs> and I'm about to put makeup on, so that's gonna be a challenge for us too. Uh, anywho, today we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to go with like a little princess fairy look, some beautiful pinks and purple colors, some glitter, some shimmer, and uh, double cut crease. We're gonna get started. I'm gonna talk through it a little bit today. I don't normally talk through my videos, but I think today, let's just talk it through. Let's just talk about how we're doing it. I would get it on. <laughs> okay, let's get started. So guys, I'm taking my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and I'm going to prime my lids. This will help your eyeshadow or whatever you put on your eye to stick. Mind you, if you have eyelash extensions like I do, hold them down so that you're not going to catch uh, your product or the brush on the lash and rip them out, which really sucks when that happens. Now you want to take um, a powder just to set what you've just put on, just like so. Okay, so now we're going to start getting our colour on. And I've chosen to use this um, Bright Matte Palette from Beauty Bay. Uh, I've got really gorgeous colours. We're going to start going in with this one. So um, let's get that tapped on with this brush here. This is a crown brush. It's quite dense. It's good for tapping. Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> so I'm taking this one up to the brow. And I don't even know why I started the pink there. <laughs> Creature of habit, that's what it is. Creature of habit. I am always start there. I'm not doing that today. I go in with my cellar water and a cotton tip and they clean up that line. Make it nice and sharp, yeah? Okay, so now we're going in with our P. Louise. P. Louise. And it is a rumor number two. over which is a crown brush okay so there you have that one done now we're going back in with my cellar water again to clean up again to create our next some of that on we need some moisture on today it's very very warm so now we're going to take uh, our primer it's the ordinary yes it's very ordinary and it's very inexpensive get onto it girls and guys if you're watching um, their stuff is quite good now I'm going to take my foundation and put my foundation on 
This is a Inglot um, HD Perfect Cover Up Foundation in the shade 76. Um, yeah, it's going to be nice and thick. <laughs> it's going to cover up all this lovely redness that you can see, yeah? Okay, cool. I've taken a beauty blender, I've sprayed it with water. Yep, it's nice and damp. It's got to be nice and damp. Beauty blender, damp. Okay, cool. Because uh, that's the only way you're going to get your application on nicely. Kids, don't forget to do your neck, yeah? It's all blended. Not just, here's my makeup and here's my neck. A lot of beauties out there can make that mistake. So girls, please. So once you've done uh, your under eye with your foundation or concealer, I'm going in with the uh, Hourglass Veil translucent powder and I'm going to set under eye with a translucent powder. Taking the Mecca Cosmetica powder brush and all over with the hourglass. Okay brow time, I'm going in with my ever so faded well travelled Christian brow palette. It's so well travelled I've lost three pans. Going into the black pan brows. With brows, we start in the center first. Okay, center bottom. This is with a powder or pomade, whatever you want to use. Uh, make sure you've got the excess off so it doesn't drop onto what you've already designed on your beautiful eye. So um, in the middle, we're going underneath, filling that in, taking it to the outer edge. Because if you want your, net, your brows to look a little bit natural, we don't want to put all the heaviness in the front. It's too much, yeah? So you lose that effect of you having just those nice little couple of hair strokes. Um, yeah, it just becomes all one ombre brow, unless, of course, that's what you want. And then you can slightly, whatever's left on your brush, don't go in and dip anymore. Um, fill in those front little bits, yeah? Always after you put powder in your brow, please spoolie it out because it makes it more softening, of course, if that's what you want. Okay guys, I'm just going to go in now with a setting spray and set what I have, okay? Because it's hot up here. <laughs> and um, so this is a Kat Von D Locket uh, setting spray. That's nice. And it doesn't leave you feeling like you're a dripping wet mess. We're set, but we gotta keep going. Also, another good tip, kids, is to put on some balm. So this will help the lip liner to glide more easily along your lip line. Now we're gonna go in and contour our face with the Hula Benefit Matte Bronzer. Mm -hmm. Now I just need to find my brush. You know, my mentor? Okay, got it. It is the Zoeva Luxe Cheek Finish 126. Tap it on, blend it up to the cheek. Yeah? We don't need to keep just going because we can create too much of a harsh line. We need to blend it upwards onto our upper cheekbone so it looks more natural. Yeah? So we're going to contour it around here so it looks like my head is smaller. That's why we contour our nose along the sides usually and then the tip to make it look smaller so that it looks like it's receding back. Now I'm going to take the translucent powder, setting powder by Hourglass. Just sharpen up my contouring line here. And just dab this on and bake this, yeah? <laughs> Um, again, you within NARS um, blush. This is probably my favourite blush, especially for brides, um, because it's just it's just a gorgeous pink. It's buildable. It's just got a really nice. It's just a really nice colour. It's not too heavy. And it's just nice and softening. I'm all about softening when it comes to brides. And because I've got fairly roundish apples, I'm not concentrating too much on my round apple. I'm more like just behind the apple and up, yeah? 
So for people that don't have apples, create them. For people that do have apples, like me, steer away from them because they're already accentuated, yeah? I hope that makes sense. My favorite part, everyone's favorite part, highlight, oh my God, you can't go wrong. Especially when you wanna look like a fairy princess. Okay, so this one is by Artist HD. They are in Hallam, Victoria, Melbourne, if you live around this area. Um, really cool stuff. This highlight has been in my kit. This is my bridal highlight. OMG, it's the mineral shimmer powder in Moonlight. And watch it glow on. <laughs> you can't go wrong. See that? Oh God. It's just so pretty. I tend to go a bit too far. I get excited. But that doesn't matter. We're a fairy princess today. We can put this stuff wherever we want. Isn't that right? Yeah. So, we're going um, like yeah. Nose when I get it. I should have contoured my nose. That's okay. I still can. Um, up here, highlight goes in all the high points of the face, where the light is going to hit. The light's going to hit your nose because that's the high point on your face. Um, up here on your cheekbones because that's the highest point of your face. Um, and here in the middle of your forehead. And uh, keep it bow as well. And your chin. Okay. That's probably why they call it high light. Because it lights up all the high places on your face. <laughs> oh God. Just something really random and stupid. You know Eeyore the donkey from Winnie the Pooh? I only worked out like two years ago why they call him Eeyore. Does anyone know? Because he goes Eeyore. <laughs> oh my God, it took me years to work that out. I'm like why? What a weird name, why are they calling that? Anyway, better get on with that. I'm going to bore you all. <laughs> okay, kids, I'm just going to take this Napoleon Purtis lip liner in pink slip. Let's line the lips. Okay, I'm going to put some sparkles on my lips, but I'll do it a bit later towards the ends because uh, I'll be talking and might move it around a bit too much so um, I'm gonna go in with my bright matte palette and exactly what I did on top of my eyes it goes underneath rule of thumb boys and girls that's what my teacher taught me when I did my diploma whatever goes on top goes underneath as well so I'm like okay that's easy to remember so you go in with the first colour that you put on usually goes, you can either go all the way or three quarters of the way. The next colour that you put on you can go in um, halfway to a third of the way. And if there's a third colour then it goes right on the outer edge. Or all the way in, depending on your eyes or the client's eyes. Um, usually big eyes can take the colour all the way along to the, like all the way in. People with small eyes, you should keep the colour probably in the outer corner about a third to a quarter of the way along so it can make their eyes kind of look bigger and elongate them. Whereas if you have a client with small eyes or yourself with small eyes and you keep that colour all the way along, you're closing them. Get it? You're closing the gap. So that's just something to think about. down in SDP01. It's a gorgeous pink shimmer. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the Rimmel. This is probably 
my favourite coal crayon um, to go in under the eyes. It's soft, wearable, all that stuff, you know. Okay, all coming together. Now I'm going to tap on that. Um, I'm going to use this for my lips as well. The NYX um, Shimmer Down. SDP01, SDP01, in case you missed it. I'm just taking a flat brush, C204 Red Sable Oval, it's a crown C204. Just gonna pat this on my lips, yeah. Okay, so I just took some of that purple eyeshadow that I put on my eyes um, and just lightly dabbed it on my lips just to give it a bit more colour. Um, I think now I'm just going to go get changed, fix up my hair, and I will come back and uh, we'll complete this look for you guys. So thanks for watching so far. I won't be long.